Well, it happens to the best of us. The minute we go on a diet, we feel like we are starving. Yes, and even if we do lose weight, we can put it right back on. So the problem, when we cut our calories, our brains push back. But Emory School of Medicine researchers may have found a way to break the cycle of failed diets. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin joins us to talk about this. Intriguing. And Sine and Tom, I think so many of us have been tripped up by this issue. Our brains have a set idea of how much we should weigh. And when we drop below that set point, our brains fight us the whole way. But this new procedure being tested at Emory School of Medicine might finally help dieters beat the odds. Melissa Donovan, an Emory Johns Creek nurse and single mother of two, used to feel like the queen of the yo-yo diet. I can lose the weight. I know how to do it, strategically lose the weight, but it bounces right back up. I even put a sign up in the break room one day that said, quit feeding us, like seriously quit feeding us. Because as soon as we cut calories, our brain is bombarded by signals that we're starving and need to eat. Dr. David Prologo, an interventional radiologist at Emory School of Medicine, says we get caught in a cycle like this. So the typical course of a diet is we start, we go for a short amount of time, and then give up and go back to the beginning and go back to the beginning. But what people need to realize is that there's a point right here after which things get easy. To try to buy people more time to get to the easy part of dieting, Dr. Prologo and his team recruited 10 overweight volunteers to test the safety of an experimental procedure to freeze a key hunger nerve. When the stomach gets empty and the calories are restricted, this nerve carries signals to the brain to induce and implement food-seeking behavior, survive. And it also works to pass food through the stomach. In this Emory video, the team uses a CT scan to guide a small needle up to the point along the vagus nerve where the esophagus meets the stomach. Then they use gas to freeze the tip of the needle and the surrounding nerve tissue, shutting off the hunger signals it sends for 8 to 12 months. But that means another procedure down the road, right? No. So this is actually the, the epicenter of the entire idea of the study. What this does is open up a window for folks to stay on their diet long enough to get to that critical point where their habits catch and their life is changed. Melissa says she had no pain and no downtime. And so I didn't think anything had happened. But the cravings gradually stopped and in nine months, she's lost 28 pounds. I feel empowered that um, it's slow. It's slow and steady. I'm a work in progress, but I haven't rebounded. And this study was very small, just 10 volunteers, and the focus was safety. But if the results are promising, Dr. Prologo hopes to test this procedure in a larger clinical trial, this time with a control group. And Melissa is about nine months out. She says she does not feel the urge any longer to overeat, and she's continuing to lose weight. Not a lot of weight, but a pound a week. Tom and Sinead, that's getting there. Definitely, and I think it's clear there will be lots of volunteers for the next Absolutely. study. <laughs> Unfortunately, the study is full now. It's finished enrolling people, but okay. the next study is going to need a lot of volunteers. So Excellent. I don't think they'll have trouble. No. Thank you so much, <laughs> sure. Beth. Thanks, Beth.